I was rejected a total of 11 times as an astronaut. After the sixth time, I told my wife, I think I'm gonna give up on this dream. And she says, if you stop applying, you're always gonna be wondering what if. Jose, tell us a little bit about your background. I come from a, what I call a typical migrant farm working background. And so when I was in Mexico, uh, my cousins would make fun of me because I would speak Spanish funny. I was kind of like too American to be Mexican. And when I would be here in California, I was too Mexican to be American. And I think it didn't occur to me until I was in high school Growing up in a bicultural environment was actually an advantage. You take the best parts of both, and that's what defines you as an individual. What ignited my passion for space? Watching live the very last Apollo mission. And man, I was hooked. And I said, Dad, he said, si, mijo. I said, I want to be an astronaut. And he says, I think you can do it. He says, you know that effort you put out helping the family picking cucumbers Saturdays and Sundays and seven days a week during the summer? He pointed to my books. He said, you put that here. Who were your Latino inspirations? The first Latino American astronaut, Dr. Franklin Chang Diaz. Dr. Mario Molina, who got the Nobel Prize in Chemistry. You got Dr. Alfredo Quinones, who's a famous neurosurgeon. Dr. Ellen Ochoa, first Latina astronaut. You got Cesar Chavez. There's plenty of uh, role models that our Latino community can identify with. I was rejected a total of 11 times as an astronaut. After the sixth time I get this letter, I crumple it up and I throw it on the floor. I told my wife, I think I'm going to give up on this dream. And she says, that doesn't sound like you. And if you stop applying, you're always going to be wondering, what if? And she was right. Thanks to her, I was able to move forward and uh, finally get selected after the, the 12th attempt. Two, one, booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery. Commander Rick Sterko joined by flight engineer Jose Hernandez. Right now, the Hispanic community is heavily underrepresented in career fields in STEM, in science, technology, engineering, and math. We decided to create a foundation that's called Reaching for the Stars to uh, expose our kids to these STEM fields so that they start considering it. Jose, it's been an honor. I would like to let you know that Boost Mobile will be donating $5,000 to your foundation. Wow, thank you very much. That money will be put in use and hopefully will increase the number of uh, minorities going into science, technology, engineering, math. So thank you very much. Oh, it's been a pleasure.